Hi there and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today we're making crispy baked fries with a very tasty pesto basil aioli. This is a really satisfying snack that packs a lot of flavor and you'll really enjoy. I have here Yukon Gold potatoes, which I already washed and I'm keeping the skins on and just cutting away imperfections. Next, we'll slice the potatoes into thin strips. You could do it with a knife or if you have a slicer like me, use it for a more even cut. I love using my slicer. It's fun to use and it gets a lot of potatoes processed very quickly. I'm placing the potatoes right away into cold water to prevent the potatoes from oxidizing and browning. Once your potatoes are fully processed, we're going to leave them in cold water for 30 minutes. Leaving them in cold water removes the extra starch on the potatoes, which will help them crisp up in the oven. Our 30 minutes are almost done, so let's preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. Use a paper towel or a clean kitchen towel to wipe off as much moisture as you can from the french fries. We want to remove the water as much as possible because we'll be coating the potatoes in oil and as you know, oil and water don't exactly mix together well. Before going to the oven, the potatoes get olive oil, sea salt, and some black pepper. Spread the potatoes on a oil baking sheet and try not to crowd them. Bake for 20 minutes at 375 and then switch to 425 for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the thickness of your fries. While the potatoes are baking, let's make our quick basil pesto aioli. Here about half a cup of mayo. And it really doesn't matter here if you use real mayo or vegan because most of the flavor is gonna come from the pesto. I'm adding about one and a half tablespoon of basil pesto. We're going to crush one clove of garlic. Add some lemon juice. I have here about one fourth of a lemon. Mix it all up together really well and give it a taste and see if any more lemon, garlic or pesto is needed. Once potatoes are ready, serve them hot and enjoy them with your aioli. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments.